Hi, my name is Julie Geyser with Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Um, I'd like to show you something that you waterfowlers can do with duck or geese after the, after the season's over. For this recipe, here's what you're going to need. Four to six goose breasts, which you can slice off half of that to reduce the thickness if needed. Or you can use eight to ten duck breasts. Take your goose breast, get all that silver skin and fat, or as much of it as you can, off. That way all these nice spices are going to be able to soak into this meat and leave a really good corned goose flavor. Now the ingredients to put in the corned goose is very, very simple. You'll need two and a half tablespoons of tender quick, a tablespoon of brown sugar, you can always add more if you want it a little bit sweeter, a half tablespoon of mustard seed, one third tablespoon black pepper, a half tablespoon ground paprika, half tablespoon ground allspice, and a half tablespoon garlic powder, and one half tablespoon of ground bay leaves. And once I get all my ingredients set out, I like to put them in a small blender and grind everything up so everything's mixed very well before I actually put it on the goose breasts. Then we're gonna put our goose breasts, all level, not overlapping each other, in a gallon size baggie. Then come the spices, and we'll want to make sure that we're putting this over them fairly evenly, then proceed to kind of rub them in. Once we get the spices coated over all the goose breasts, we're gonna lay this flat in the refrigerator for seven days. And every day we're gonna take the bag out and kind of knead or squeeze the spices onto the goose breast. Then we're gonna flip the bag over, and what this does is it ensures that every part of the meat is getting some of that spicy flavor soaking into it. Once our seven days is over, it's time to put the goose breast in the oven. We're gonna put some flour inside the oven bag, shake it up, then put the oven bag on a cookie sheet. From there, we take our spicy marinated goose breast and we put them uh, flat in the oven bag. You wanna be sure to cut holes in the top of the oven bag and cook at 325 degrees for an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. Be sure to take the meat out of the oven bag right away, otherwise the meat will tend to get a little mushy. Then we're gonna slice these up. These are great on cheese and crackers. Me, I like to do a Reuben sandwich with some homemade canned sauerkraut.